look at my gums, they're checking me out nice. Sloppy toppy getting messy, I told her you might have to bring me a towel Shh. At the show I go Yo, hello, it's Reva here And in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the morphing text effect You guys saw in the beginning And uh, yeah, let's get right into this So the first thing we're going to do here is to make a text layer Morph these are the settings I will be using for this word here and I'm going to make it one second long and here you're going to press ctrl shift D to split the clip and here you can change the text to something else text split it here again drag this down a little, little bit stuff like that and now after that we're going to be starting off with making a crossfade between these texts here so I'm going to drag this one over a half second over the first word and the same with the last word here. Open up transform opacity, set it to 100 here, and then zero in, in the beginning there. And uh, it's going to be the same here, 100, press the keyframe, zero in the ending. And we're going to do the same with, with this one. If you want to level up your editing, Envato Elements is the perfect platform for you. Envato Elements open up a world of creative possibilities for all of your design projects. And it's powered by a community of talented designers. You will get graphic assets, education, resources and business management tools check the first link in the description you can press t 100 percent zero 100 here and the zero there so this is how it looks now and now we're going to make a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and here we're going to be adding gaussian blur and here you're going to go to the middle of the transition here and drag the blurriness up to yeah, 110 looks good in my opinion. So you can't really see the, the letters. And then you're going to uncheck repeat edge pixels. So it's going to look something like this now. Looks pretty good. And when you're when you're satisfied with the look here, you're going to press the clock in the blurriness in the middle of the transition. Go to the beginning, set it to zero. Go to the end, set it to zero. Do the same here. Beginning, set it to 110. And then set it to zero in the ending of the transition. And zero in the beginning. And now we're going to be adding uh, levels to this as well. And we're going to be changing this channel to alpha. And then drag these two arrows together. So you get the look you guys want. Looks good. So this is how it looks now. Pretty cool in my opinion. So when you're done with that, we're going to be adding a new adjustment layer. Control alt y Boom. And then you're going to drag this one between the text and the morph text layers and here I want to you guys can see uh, this morph text here is wider than the the text here as it says <laughs> so I wanted to make the transition a little bit smoother so I'm going to be just cutting the adjustment layer control D delete that control D delete that and here I will be adding transform and you're going to uh, press uniscale uncheck that and then keyframe the scale width in the beginning and you guys can see we wanted to go inwards the morph text so i'm going to go to the ending and set it to zero and this is how it looks now and to make it a little bit smoother again we're going to mark the keyframes and then press f9 to easy ease them and we're going to do the same thing here but the reverse so we're going to press a control alt y add transform and drag this one between those two and then here uncheck mark the scale width and then drag it up to 200 now open it up mark the keyframes press f9 looks super clean so this is how it looks now boom looks very very clean but yeah you guys know me i like to add some more things to make this text look 10 times better uh, than it already does so <laughs> i'm going to be adding uh, a new adjustment layer again control alt y and here we're going to be adding a texture and we're going to be adding fractal noise so i'm going to change this to cloudy and then linear and then open up transform unit scaling uncheck that one and then drag scale height to 20 and the scale width to 600 now i get this kind of texture here and i'm going to be keyframe the evolution here so i'm going to press the clock here in the beginning go to the end and then drag it one full lap here just like that and you can drag this texture layer below the blur layer we're going to be adding a new adjustment layer again Control alt y here we're going to be adding turbulent displays change the displacement to bulge the amount 25 and the size to 150 and from there keyframe the evolution in the beginning at zero and then go to the end at three seconds go one whole lap here 360 degrees 
just like that so now it looks something like this now very clean in my opinion and then i want to add a cc so control alt y again and here we are going to be adding colorama to the cc and you're going to pop up input phase and here i'm going to be keyframing the phase shift going to the ending drag it around one foot lap something like that and i'm going to be adding a cartoon to this as well change the threshold to 10 the width to 0 0.3 softness to 0 that should be good and after that the last thing we're going to do now is to add a glow of course and here add the glow boom change the radius to 22 and the intensity to 0.8 control d on the glow set the radius to 163 and the glow intensity to 0.2 and then control d again and here set the radius to 430 and the glow intensity on 0.1 or actually yeah 0.2 so yeah that's how you made the text morphing effect morphing text effect and uh, if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials i can make please comment that down below don't forget to like and subscribe check out my website check out my discord server check out my socials and i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day.